So uh, today on Screenshots, we're taking a very putrid look at one of the worst movies in Canadian history, and maybe the worst. Uh, it's a piece of tripe called The Clown Murders, uh, released in, officially in 1976, but for some people, they saw it on CBC 78 and 79. The plot is extremely stupid. The scenario is pretty stupid. The only reason why it stands out is because that impeccable comedy actor, John Candy, plays a vital role in the movie. Now, the plot is very straightforward. According to the, the IMDb of this uh, explanation, in this film, four men kidnap an old boy girlfriend of Halloween night as a joke to ruin a real estate deal only to have a very real clown mask killer stalk them seeking revenge. Now, <laughs> 1970s were well, well known for his Canadian horror movies, the Cronenberg, uh, Ivan Reitman and all that. But I was forced to watch this movie one night because I got sick on some bad food. I think it was 1979, it was the only thing on. I didn't have the strength to change the channel. And I eventually, was forced to see that great and calm person, John Candy, be forced to take part in a sex scene with one of the main female actresses of the cast. And let me tell you, the Canadian cast of this uh, movie, other than Al Waxman and Lawrence Dane, were the bottom of the bottom, or have I called the Canadian Acting Guild of the 70s and 80s. Now, John Candy could make anything look good. And at the time, as a lot of people do remember, the first season of SCTV was already uh, on, and that was a Harold Ramis uh, cast version. And Candy had done some uh, kind of action and different style of movies like Walk-Ons, and he you know, was very capable. But for wh what reason John Candy signed on to do this movie? Probably had to be for a thousand dollar check or some, some, pokey, <laughs> some pokey weeks. Uh, it's a terrible performance. He doesn't give a bad performance, just as a terrible script, it's a terrible scenario, uh, the cinematography is a dreck, uh, the, the audio is terrible, I keep uh, kept on waiting for a boom mic uh, to hit somebody in the head accidentally. Now if you see this on any Canadian streaming service, American streaming service, avoid at all costs, do not watch this movie. May I suggest look at other John Candy performances, even a highlight reel. Anything is better to this piece of crap. Avoid. Now, this was before the Canadian tax break movies that were coming up three years later, 78 to about 84. Again, there was no tax money involved. It was just terrible. And the VHS box uh, copies are terrible as well. You didn't really know how to promote it. So, you know what he did with some of these type of movies? You take the most recognizable name and put it in the box. And what this does accidentally is makes makes the, the viewer think that John Candy is the clown. <laughs> no, John Candy is a clown, but not the clown of this, again, piece of horrible turdish dreck. Anyway, happy Christmas, everybody. And in this case, I, I always say keep your stick on the ice, but in this case, if you have a VHS or a DVD copy of this, Use the stick to smash it so it can never be viewed again. So not only put the stick on the ice, put the VHS or, or DVD copy underneath the ice, freeze it, and never see it again. And I will never mention this movie ever again because I wanted to mention this movie in my column for Brunswick News once and I fought against it. But here, you know, get it out of my system. Anyway, happy days everybody. Goodbye.